Okay, in this tutorial we're going to show you how to make a cartoon car out of a photograph of a regular car. You want to get a photo that's from the side, as much to the side as possible. You can go a little bit on an angle, but the effect will be a lot more convincing the more to the side that you are. The first thing we're going to want to do is make a copy of this layer. Just like any time you're dealing with original content, you just want to make a backup so if anything gets messed up or lost or you know you this way you can kind of go back to the original and always have it okay so after we have that made we're gonna hide our original photograph and we're gonna dive into the front wheel area so we're gonna use our polygon lasso tool and we're just gonna start selecting the bottom of the front tire we're going to come up around the wheel well. And we want to get as much of the fender here as possible. You don't have to be perfect, but you want to get it pretty close. You want to get most of this uh, wheel well in here. When you get down to around this area here, you want to kind of grab a little chunk of this sidewall here of the car. And that'll make sense later. And we're just going to continue around and grab most of the wheel. Okay, so that's pretty good. Um, we don't want a hard edge on our selection, so make sure this is on anti-alias. Okay, after that's done, we're just going to copy and paste that. And Fireworks is going to make that in a new layer for us automatically. Okay, so now we're going to deselect and go to our back tire. Let's make sure that we have the bitmap selected again of the actual car. If we have this selected, we're going to basically be selecting nothing and you'll waste your time. So make sure you have this bitmap, the original bitmap of the car selected before we uh, start selecting the back wheel. We're going to do the same thing here. We're start with the wheel and wrap around and get most of this wheel well here as we can. I'm going to come back around and grab this chunk as well. And we're going to finish up going through the wheel. And again, you don't have to worry about getting perfection here because all the edges of this selection are going to be blended into the uh, background. So don't have to be too critical. So we're going to control, uh, copy, and paste that. So deselect. So now we have three elements. We have the background image. Then we have our back wheel, and then we have our front wheel. So you should have something like this. So for now, hide your two wheels that you just um, copied out. And let's take this car, and we're going to scale it. We're going to scale it on the x-axis. And you can get as extreme as you want. I'm going to go with about there. And right now it doesn't look like much. It just looks like basically a distorted photograph. But once we unhide these wheels, and let's kind of roughly place them here where we want them, you can see it already kind of looks like a cartoon car. And it's pretty quick and easy. Now to really sell this shot, we got to kind of blend all the joints in and stuff like that. So kind of get a placement in here where you're not really covering too much of the car's detail. And all we're going to really do now is we're going to take our eraser tool and we're going to feather that edge pretty significantly. Let's zoom in and just start cleaning out some of our edges here. Make sure I got the right image selected. And, you know, we're just going to kind of soften up this edge a little bit. Actually, there we go. Just a little bit, and this will really help sell the shot just by softening it.
use a bigger brush with a wider edge it makes it a little easier to do you just kind of want to clean this up as much as possible see so that just so the edges aren't as jarring see it gets that nice softness to it now See, you know, one of the things you're going to notice is that the original uh, wheel well is going to kind of poke through. So what I like to do is I'll select that layer of the car, and we're going to go in with our stamp tool. And if we can get lucky here, let's make this size a lot smaller. If we get really lucky, we can kind of grab another piece of the car and just phase that out. Bring my opacity down a bit. That's pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing with the back wheel. Most of this, uh, most of this, the, the hiding the edge is done with the eraser. You can use a little bit of the smudge tool if you're comfortable with that. Um, it's really whatever works for you. I found this to be the easiest. So I'm just going to continue down and just soften this up as much as possible. Use our stamp tool again to hide a lot of these other lines. That... Okay, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a quick, easy little effect, and it's fun. Um, I don't really know what the practical application of this project would be, but uh, I'm sure that somewhere you can use this in your toolkit. Um, but, like I said, it's a lot of fun. It's really quick to do. And that's pretty much it.